Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me how I built my coax helicopter in my career series. So I figured I'd do a quick little tutorial today and show you actually how it comes together. Let's get started. All right, so we're in the workbench. Uh, first things first here, let's, uh, let's put some symmetry mode on. Uh, that should make things a little bit easier here. Uh, we just need to get ourselves a little platform here. Hopefully at this point, you guys know how to build engines. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna grab a small vanilla engine here. All right, so we're gonna have to get this all connected up. Now that we've got this, a few pipes on there. Let's get ourselves a radiator. And we can just plop that down right underneath like that. Uh, we're gonna need some air. Throw ourselves a filter there. Uh, one of these is fuel and one of these is exhaust, so we can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get our piping going around here, like so. All right, we turn mirror mode off here for a second, make sure we get our exhaust on, make sure that was exhaust. Uh, that was exhaust. All right, so that leaves this for fuel. Uh, so let's take a tank. Uh, for this, we'll just grab a medium tank. Uh, that should be enough for the purposes of this. Uh, hmm. Where are we gonna, you know, let's see what a large tank looks like on here. Way too large. Uh, so we'll do a medium tank. Okay, so I don't have anywhere to connect this to, so let's get ourselves some blocks out here. All right, and we'll place that like so. All right, so now I need a couple more pipe pieces here to get to the actual fuel line. Simple enough, there we go. And now we need our power out. So we're gonna grab ourselves a gearbox. Uh, we're gonna place that. There, just like so. Uh, now we can go ahead and get ourselves a couple more pipes and we can just go up with it. All right, so now we've got the basics of our helicopter here as far as how it's gonna run. Uh, now we're gonna need to do a couple things like seats and a few other things here. Uh, so let's get this all nice and neatened up here. Perfect. So let's grab ourselves a seat. Uh, we'll just get a regular compact pilot seat here. Actually, we need to put somewhere for that seat to go. All right, so let's get the seat. Is that gonna block our air? That might block our air. Uh, so let's do that just for the sake of this. Perfect. All right. So we can come around here. We'll add some sides to it. You know, we don't need the sides. Actually, let's, let's, let's try to make this as compact as possible. Uh, we'll make a really small one. So we'll go like that. Uh, we don't need any of that. Uh, actually, we can actually come in here and get rid of all of this. Clean that up a little bit. Perfect. All right. So as far as our head goes, uh, I think we need to be one block above that. Yep, perfect, that'll work. Uh, so we'll come down to there like that, disregard the boxiness of it. Get ourselves another pipe here, we'll enclose it. And uh, from there, we delete all this now, most of that. I will come to here like so, we can grab a four by one wedge, do something like that. That's starting to look pretty good, I think. Uh, we might even be able to come back one with it. Or two, actually. Let's come back two. We can come back. I think we'll come back to there. We'll give it a little bit of space here for some instruments. Uh, what can we do as far as glass goes? We could come down to there with a window. Actually, let's come down a little further with the window. We'll come down to here. Say that's our helicopter. All right. Done deal. Look at that. Perfect. We're getting there. We're doing something. That will be windows. And I don't know, we'll do something like this. Looks good to me. Let's get all this out. Uh, I wanna get a bigger window than that. A bigger window, nope, I think this is actually it. But can I actually place this somewhere? All right, so I'm gonna have to add a couple extra blocks out here to uh, get this window to go where it needs to go. Uh, where was that one? That was this one here. Nope, that was this one here. That was not that one. Where is, is there a three by three by four? Is that it? Is that the one we want? That might be the one we want, but I think that's too tall. So maybe it was this one. All right, we're getting confused this morning. All right, so let's do this. We'll grab our window again. Perfect, now we can place that. Now we can come in here and that can be our dash. All right, starting to come along here. It's actually starting to look pretty good. Uh, let's come back and give ourselves just a little bit of tail section here. I want to get the weight block above the engine here. 
So that's pretty close. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some props. For this one, we're gonna be using the, uh, the small rotors. Uh, so for the first one, you wanna just place it down. Uh, the second one, you can just hit O, uh, rotate it, and there we go. Now we have our secondary prop on top going the opposite way to counteract that torque that the first one's gonna do. Uh, for this, let's see, we'll go down to three blades. Three blades, we'll put these on neutral, both of those. Okay, so those are good to go. Uh, we've still got some weight issues here. Instead of doing all this, let's see if we can do some, some cool legs or something that come around and actually make this look a little bit better. Uh, what does that do? That just looks weird. Honestly, we'll just leave that there for now until we figure out what's going on here. All right, so we've got all of that. Let's uh, get ourselves a couple dials here. A couple things that we actually do need. So we'll need one for fuel, we'll need one for airspeed, uh, one for altitude, and then we'll do a horizon right here. Somewhere right here, here we go. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, turn. There we go. Arrow up, and we'll need a throttle. For this, we'll take mirror mode off. We'll put a throttle right here, like so. Uh, battery, 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 battery. Uh, our battery, let's just put it right back here on top of our uh, our gas tank here. Uh, we are a little off-centered there. Not much. Uh, we should be pretty good here. Uh, we can always move this if we need to. Actually, here's what we can do to save some of this weight. Let's do this. Let's move our air like so, and then we can move all this back by one, and that should help out a little bit. We're just gonna grab all that, like so. Uh, we'll do it like that. We'll cut that. That goes back one. Why is that? Oh, that's gonna destroy our radiator. Uh, okay, um, let's do this. Whoopsies. We'll paste that back. We'll delete that little row there. Then we'll clear and cut this again. And there we go. Paste. So if we merge this together, that should have brought our weight block just back a little bit. Yep, nice. And all that's nice and little neat there. All right, perfect. Uh, we're getting pretty close to uh, almost being done here, actually. Uh, let's get ourselves some landing legs. However we can here. Simple enough. All right, there we go. Uh, let's get ourselves uh, let's see, I think I've got everything here. We don't need clutch. We got, uh, we got fuel. We got all our stuff hooked up here. Throttle to control the engine. All right, let's build ourselves a microcontroller to control all this. And this is gonna be super simple, you guys. Uh, so we just go to the microcontroller editor. Uh, we're gonna start a new microcontroller here. Uh, we only need a few inputs here. So that's actually gonna be really easy to do. Um, so let's go over to, first of all, let's, let's call this something. We'll just call this PNC Coax Heli for the, for the sake of making it easy to find. Uh, I'm gonna need four nodes here. All of these are gonna be numbers. Two of them inputs, two of them outputs. Spread these out, get these all nice and neat. Our first input is gonna be collective in. Second one's gonna be collective out. Uh, the next one's gonna be top collective out. And then you guessed it, bottom collective out. All right. So collective in, let's change this. Uh, this is not collective out, that's confusing me. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. This is y'all in. Uh, so that's gonna be our collective in, our y'all in, which are gonna combine to control our output. All right, into the logic. Here's where it gets super simple. We're just gonna spread this stuff out a little bit here. Uh, we're gonna need two add blocks here. We got two add blocks and we need a function block because we're trying to have fun here. So we get a function block and we're gonna throw that in right there. So let's connect into our function block. Uh, let's connect into our add block and let's connect into our, let's flip these around, make this a little easier, Bo top on top, bottom on bottom. Uh, bottom collective out. Uh, we're gonna do the same up here. We're gonna go collective in to our add block, to the top one and into here as well. It's, it's coming together, you guys. We're, we're almost done, super simple. All right, so now we're gonna grab our collective in and we're gonna come to the top portion of the ad block. We're gonna take our y'all in and go to the bottom portion of the top ad block. And guess what guys? One more thing, we're done. So on this expression, we're gonna do an X times negative one. We just wanna invert this and literally we're done guys. Uh, so we're gonna save this and we're gonna put this on our heli.
So name it good so you can find it. We'll go back to our heli here. There we go, PNC coax heli here. And I guess we'll just find a nice little spot for this to sit. Um, let's just put it right there for now. Um, and that way it'll kind of balance out that battery a little bit. Not much, but it will. All right, here we go. Easy hookup. Bottom collective out. Collective. Top collective out. New collective. Now let's grab ourselves a gyro. Get that gyro, we're gonna slap that gyro right underneath here. Best we can, uh, right there looks good. So from our gyro, up and down goes to collective in. Uh, we're gonna try to find our yaw here. Where is our yaw? Our yaw also goes in. And now from the seat, you just uh, hook it up how you want. So we'll do left, right is gonna be our yaw. A and D is gonna be our roll. W, S is our pitch and up, down is our collective. All right, simple enough. Uh, let's see, let's get moving around here. The pitch goes into pitch. Roll goes into roll. And we are all hooked up, you guys. Uh, let's get ourselves a push button so we can actually start this thing. We'll put a push button in, let's see. Make sure we take mirror mode off so you don't make any mistakes. Put a push button right there. And we should be good to go. Let's, uh, let's label that. We've got our starter and let's go into some more logic here. Let's take the starter to our engine, our throttle to our engine. And we're pretty good there. Uh, we do got some other dials we could hook up. That's not a problem. Uh, let's grab our power connections. Uh, we take our battery. We want to hook everything up to this battery here. And as far as the gyro goes, I think we're just going to make it hooked right up to occupied seat. So as long as we're in the seat, the gyro is going to be working. All right, let's, uh, none of this really needs to be here, but we can kind of make this look like something. How about we kind of make it a cool little tail section, maybe? I don't know. We don't need any of this, but let's see. Actually, you know, we can come off the, uh, let's do this. Just for the sake of looks. And maybe some balance. If I can never get the right blocks there. There we go. All right, something like that, just for the sake of getting that weight block back. And I think that actually looks really good. Um, this looks a little weird up here, but that's all right. Uh, let's bomb this in. Actually, I can tell you right now that this is not gonna work because of where that weight block is. So we need to bring this back just a little bit. And there we go. Let's put this down a little bit. Bomb this in. Where is it? Here we are. Anchor up. A little bit of throttle and we've already got lift which is great so let's go a little forward perfect okay so something's something's not right all right so what we need to do is grab ourselves an invert i realize what's going on there uh, our roll is not not doing what it needs to do drop yourselves a little invert down come over here find your roll wherever it may be roll into the invert block and then you want to come up to the top roll that should fix our little problems there. So let's try this again. And this is a really cheap heli, 2700. All right, we're gonna try this again. Throttle up, starter. We've already got lift. Uh, let's go forward. See if we can get out of this hanger here. All right, collective up, y'all right, y'all left. Okay, we got roll right and roll left. There you go, guys. A simple, easy to do coax helicopter. Uh, these things work so much better in Stormworks than a regular helicopter with a prop on the back. Uh, to each their own. If that's the kind of helicopter you want to build, by all means, please build that. But I figured, you know, you guys were asking how I built this and why I built this. Uh, this is why I do it because it just works so much easier in this game. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, there is your coax heli build. Uh, I hope you've learned something today. I hope that helps you out. And if it does, make sure you throw a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, uh, we'll see you in the next one.